New light just got here. Just unpacking it to see what all we got. Packaged extremely well. Uh, everything's wrapped up nice. Comes with everything you need to hang it, wire it, the whole nine yards. Right there's the plug. Right here's one of the lights that go with it. It's actually a full square perimeter light. Looks pretty solid. Anyway, we'll get the rest of this open and we will go over the install. All right, so we got them. So we got them all out of the box and laid out. Nothing damaged. All the paint looks nice. It is a uh, LED aluminum housing. Looks to be the business. I'm going to start putting it together. All right, so all the parts are laid out. I did go with the seven foot light just because I have this beam right here. So I could not do any bigger than a seven foot light from my nine foot pull table, but this is still gonna be infinitely brighter than most lights. So I'm fine with it. Um, but everything's laid out, read the directions. They're, they're pretty self-explanatory. Uh, the little clips go in here and the suspension system all goes through here. So we'll get work, working on that now. So all these little metal bullet looking things go over top the end that does not have the uh, metal piece that holds things in place. You pull the bullet the whole way down, you put this T stud in there, and you leave a gap because that's going to go in this channel. Speaking of channel, make sure you drop a like, a subscribe, and follow along because I'm going to do all kinds of billiard content coming up. But anyway, you take these self-adjusting pieces that are pretty sweet actually, and they go on next. And anytime you want, you can just push that little plunger on the end in, and you can adjust the height and, and make sure it's level at all times. Now you just do the rest on all those. Okay, I got all my suspension hangers. I'm not gonna be able to do any on the end pieces, but I'm gonna just do an extra one on the sides. Like each, on each side should help. Uh, these, where's the one that's together? Go into the joists in the ceiling like that. And then I'll make holes in the drop ceiling so that the wire just hangs through the drop ceiling. And uh, that's where we're getting. I'm gonna start bolting this light together. I'll show you how that goes right here just with some brackets and covers. Okay, one thing I like a lot is that each piece gets held together with two brackets, not just one. It's actually something I was worried about. And make sure you get this bracket and this side bracket in the channel before you do any screws. Um, then it'll all go together real nice. And what I mean by get it in the channel is make sure that the black paint is facing out where you're gonna see it and you need to get both the top and side bracket in one side and slide it all in together into the other channel on the other one. If not, you have to take the screws back out and start over. And I just knocked that uh, diffuser loose a little bit, but I guess that's no big deal. Okay, I figured I'd get a little bit more done this time before I showed you anything. I got all the mounting hardware in the joists and it's connected to the lights. Then you, you'll just simply pull it through to raise the light up to where you want. And these little things hold it to the height that you want. Uh, everything is wired up, the light does work. I just am going through now and tucking this wire down in this channel so that it looks you know, nice and clean. And I have some black duct tape that I'm gonna use around the corners to make sure the wires don't show and to like, you know, hold these bigger things down. But uh, I'll be right back. All right, light is up and on. I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna make the drop ceiling look nice around the hangers and stuff like that, but I'll give it a go here, finish this, button this all up. And uh, it's looking nice and bright. All right, YouTube, here is the finished product of the light. What I did is just cut the ceiling tile around the hangers, which there might be a better way to do that, but it works fine for what I did. Um, do have a little bit of finishing work I wanna do, a little bit more tape to cover up those, hold down those wires a little better. Maybe get some black electrical tape or some black silicone to put over the, those little cracks. But honestly, when you're playing, you don't notice it. All you notice is how amazing the light actually works. And it is the best light on the market for the money. And um, I am proud to say I am affiliated with this company now. So um, if you would happen to want one of these lights, let me know below. I'll get you a price, free shipping on these. And I get a little portion of that, helps out the channel a lot and uh, will keep me bringing these videos to you. However, uh, the one thing I do wanna say is that this I kept as the plugged version, not on a switch. And the reason I kind of like that is uh, I can actually pull these down and tape them yet. But anyway, so that is my plug. It goes up, runs over, runs along, and it plugs in right here. And then on the other side of the wall is a power strip. So I can just use the, the power strip on off 
to turn the light on and off. And then what's good is, is that actually protects the light in case there's any sort of surge or something like that. So that worked out extremely well. So I hope you liked the video and, uh, you know, let me know in the comments below what you think. And uh, by the way, this build series is done, but I'm doing a 10 to 12 minute video of this restoration. That's the next video. So be sure to subscribe and find your way back for more content.